What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Next Gen. It's your host, your boy, Destiny, a.k.a. Grateful Kid, and I'm here with... Um, I'm Jada. <laughs> okay, okay, Jada. How are you doing today? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Got okay. some work done. Okay, that's what's up. What's up? Uh, what type of work? Are we talking about work now or just like homework? Homework. Oh, homework. Okay, homework. You know, okay, that's good. That's what, yeah, yeah, we got to take care of those. We got to take care of those. Um, What's your classification now? I'm like a second year, I think, sophomore. Sophomore, okay, okay, okay. That's what's up, that's what's up. Uh, I'm a junior, so I decided to not ask these tough questions. You know, so yeah. you never know. And what's your major? So I'm chemical engineering, actually. Chemical engineering. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Engineering. So you're one of those. Mm. Yeah. Smart ones. Oh, wow. That's good, that's good, that's good. Um, What made you want to become a new uh, chemical engineer? I actually really came to college for like something else, and I was right. doing like community college, and they like made me take like the uh, career aptitude test, right. and the career I wanted wasn't within the hundred like different careers that that this test was within. Okay. So I was like, maybe I should rethink it, and then I started choosing between um, chemical engineering or like pharmaceuticals, yeah. and I was like, well, I might as well just be a chemical engineer that does pharmaceuticals. Oh, okay, 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 okay. And was that like uh, one the only thing that you wanted to do, or was there other ones too? But that was just the one that stood out. So like, I like I've always sort of liked more chemistry and like pharmaceutical, I guess, based jobs. Yeah. And so I've just always found it so like interesting how like doctors can be like, "Hey, take this and you'll feel better," and then yeah. you take it and you just start feeling better. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I works. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, if I'm an ex, are, like, is this like a family thing? Like, you know, trying to ditch any y'all? No, actually, my mom was a sociology major. Oh, okay, and okay. And I believe my great grandmother, though, she did get like her bachelor's in like mathematics. Oh. And then my grandfather like worked on like computers at NASA at one point, I think. Mm. And so it's always sort of been in there. It's always like the gene's always sort of been there. Oh. I like to flex. I like <laughs> to flex. <laughs> flex with ATMs now, though. So. Ah, uh, yes. yes. <laughs> um, y- you said you uh, you went to HCC right before you you went to PV right or. Um, I went to a community college. I went to San Jacinto South. Oh, San Jacinto South. Shout out to them. Shout out to them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but then you made to PV. Yeah. Um, uh, what made you want to like come to PV? Like, what draw your attention towards PV? So like. My stepdad actually went to PV. Ah. And then I always knew I was going to go to an HBCU once I graduated high school, like, no matter what. Okay, okay. And so I was really choosing between, like, Texas Southern. Ah. Like, Texas Southern course. University. Oh, I know. I know. Yeah. I know where you met. <laughs> <laughs> In my age town. Or it was, like, come out here and come to PV. Okay. Yeah. But I was, like, chem- the engineering program is a lot better, like, here. Ah. Oh, facts, facts. <laughs> We're still up. We're still up. <laughs> And so I really came here for like the engineering stuff. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. That's good. You know, nah, I don't really see a whole lot of chemical engineers. You know, females that you know that want to do that. Most of them want to be like you know nurses or uh, business women, which is all good too. But yeah. you know, I just but the fact that you're doing a chemical engineer, it's very uh, speaks for yourself. Yeah. Speaks for so yourself. like the interesting thing about like engineering, right? Oh yeah, yeah. You engineering want to hear that. itself is like very male dominated. But then mm. chemical engineering specifically is actually kind of female dominated. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so I did not know that. Like right. when it comes to like actual chemical engineers, you'll find more women. But when uh. it comes to like engineers overall, it's going to be more men. Ah, okay, okay. I did not know that. Do you know like what um the uh, essentially like are? No, I have to look up the stats. But I just remember like even in my um engineering classes right. that I've been in, my one that I had today at like eleven, mm. there are like eleven girls and like four boys. I know the feeling. <laughs> Trust me, because cause my major is social work. And, oh, you know, yeah. it was my, uh, what's it called, my sophomore semester. And I had this social work class, right? Yeah. Out of, like, everybody in the whole, in the whole class, I was, like, this, it was only two, me and another guy. And the rest were whole girls. And, you know, no, 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 not, not saying, like, you know, saying, you know, girls can't be social work coming out. But yeah. I was just like, damn. <laughs> <laughs> I got some competition. Yeah. <laughs> So I mean, by the because I did just some research and found out that you know the social worker field it's you know it's pretty mu- pretty much a female uh, uh, dominant thing and all that. 
So I was like, okay, I got some little competition out there. But I don't know that it was, it was really good. It was just, uh, it was just, it was just, it's a whole lot different reading it than, and seeing it too. Because I read yeah. it and then I, when I actually seen this, you know, there's only there's only me and one other guy in the in the class. It's like, okay, I see what, okay, I see it, yeah, I see it now. The second I go to like yeah. anything outside of like my engineer, like my chemical engineering specific yeah. like stuff, it'll be like mostly dudes. So so like, oh. I'll be like in uh, chemistry for engineering majors, and it's mostly boys in that class. Yeah. But when I do like chemical engineering stuff, it's like mostly girls. Mostly female. Do you ever feel like you're um, being? I I, I, I don't want to say judge, but like more like you're. Um, there's a lot of pressure on you to oh deliver yeah, as oh a yeah, female. You said why? It's like. It's just because when people, like, look at me, like, they don't assume chemical engineer. They don't even assume engineer. Like, even with my own family, they're like, oh, you've always been so creative. So I thought you'd do, like, something else, not, like, engineering. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, but creative creativity is, like, for fun for me. Yeah. Meanwhile, for, like, a job, I love the structuring. Mm -hmm. And so it's, like, the pressure of, like, I have to be able to, like, become this engineer now just so then I can be like, look, I can be creative, but I can also have a job that's very, like, structured oh, okay that's good that's good that's what makes sense you know ironically for me uh i went to hcc right um you know, two years and all that and i because i didn't know really what, what i wanted to do you know because I, I already knew okay i'm gonna graduate high school and then yeah. like what's the next thing how do you really know so my uh my auntie shout out to her she told me to go to community college that's where she went to so I went to community college. I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I not know what to do. I just know I was going to classes this and that. And but I to I remember this to this day. There was this particular class. I forgot the subject what it was, but we had to like um there was a lot of uh careers. Yeah. On on the list. And I and out of all the the careers, I saw this word social work. And I'm like Social work, what's that? Because I never heard of it before, you know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? Like, I, I don't know what that is. But it just stuck out to me out of everything. And so I did what anybody did. I went on Google. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's exactly what I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I went to Google, and um, I, was re okay, I was researching, okay, what do they do? Okay, they help out people. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Can you, can you be a social worker in the school? Okay, yeah, you can. You can, be work your so you can also work in the hospital, this and that. Yeah. Is both private and public. I'm like, hey, yo, <laughs> let's go. <Yeah. laughs> I got something, and you know, and then, I, and then I found that it's even more. This is even diverse. You know, what I'm saying like, there's more. There's a lot. It's just like it's just one word, but like it's more. It's a, it's, it's a big field, yeah. and that caught my interest even more. And uh, to this day, man, like I've been on, I've been hooked on it, and I, and I feel like, per, just just personally for me that like. Social work, it like it described me. Like oh, it was yeah. like, it was like one of those. Like yeah, this is me. <laughs> like, this is something I want want to do. Like you know, I'm down to always, uh, helping out people, whether if it's y y both young and old. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And uh, and then when I found out that I could make money on that too, I was like, oh, that's even better. <laughs> Cherry on the top. <laughs> yeah, finding money, finding a way to make money on things you already love to do. Yeah, that's the golden thing. Like that's God. golden right there. Facts, facts, facts. Um. Besides, uh, you know, be a, a, a engineering, are you also like a track, you track, or are you? Actually, no. I always was terrible at sports. Uh. I have very bad hand-eye coordination, uh. so <laughs> I'm like the clumsiest one in my family. Like it's terrible. Uh. But um, I am looking into like different yeah. clubs in the engineering like fields. Okay. And, okay. Like, because I know on campus we have like Nesby, which is like the National Society. Yeah. I think. I think it's, like, National Society for, like, Black Engineers. And then we also have, like, AKI, and that's for, like, um, it's, like, American Institute for, like, Chemical Engineers. Kay. And so I'm, like, really looking into, like, joining clubs, like, very specific towards, like, my major. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Same thing, same thing. Same thing. I, 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 was trying to, I, I was trying to get, like, more of uh, people in, in, my, in my field, in the social work field, to come and... Uh, you know, join me on this, on this podcast too, <laughs> but like, <laughs> they're all behind the scene. Yeah. <laughs> but it's all, it's all love, though. It's all love. Yeah. Um, you being at, you know, being at, uh, at PV, what's, 
were there any expectations you had coming to PV? If so, what were, what were they? So there weren't really like many expectations because I just like I yeah. was going away to like a university for the first time. I was like, I don't know if I'll even like anybody that I meet here. I don't know if I'll like my roommates. Like, I don't know what's going to happen. And so I wouldn't really say that I put, like, any expectations on, like, okay, this day I'm going to do this or, like, I'm going to figure out this. It was just more like, okay, let's see how the first week goes. Mm. First week goes good. Okay, let's see how the next week goes. And it was just taking it, like, week by week. And then suddenly I, like, made friends and I knew, like, people in the band and, like, I was just going to a party one night, and then I was, like, hanging out with my roommates another night. And I was yeah. like, okay, I like it here. Like, I enjoy this experience. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, For me, ironically, when I uh, when I applied, I, I had expectations. I'm not going to hold you. Yeah. Because, like, when I when I was applying, I uh, – I it, it didn't really matter, matter what college I went to. I was just – I just wanted to go to a college that like had a challenge oh, that, yeah. that would challenge me as a student and as an as a young adult. Yeah, that's you know? a big part. Yeah, and th- that would give me something to do. That would make me change and like have m- have a different mindset. You know, because uh, not you know as as co- as as young uh, young young adults, yeah. you know, I, I personally believe that we should you know try different things uh, that would also give us a challenge but also be also rewarding so uh the college didn't really matter to me but as long as it, it was challenging both like as a both as a personal as a student as well i was i was i was okay and then you know when i came to pv right i uh i was like the newest new kid in, in, in high school like i did not know nobody oh definitely i did not know nobody completely the same <laughs> I, it took me a while to find my classrooms like Oh, I literally just went yeah. on campus maps on my phone, and I'd just be looking at the what? map trying to figure out where I was going. <laughs> Bro. I would be looking down at my phone, acting like I was, like, texting or talking to somebody. No, I was literally looking at campus maps trying to figure out what building I had to go to, and then I would screenshot yeah. on, like, uh, where is it, like, Panther Track? I would yeah. screenshot where it told you, like, what class you're in, Right. and then I'd just be scrolling through my photos looking for what <laughs> class I'm supposed to be in. And I was just like, okay, I have to figure out where to go without asking anybody for help. Oh my god! You know why I laugh? Because I did the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did the exact same thing. I about did, but I, 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 I did kill who who was looking at me right now. But I was just, bro, I, got, I was just like, bro, where am I going? I think it was, it was my, it was my, fir- it was my first year, and. And you know, I'll I'll go to Google. I'll type in the name of the, of the building, and it, it'll say like it's here. I'll be like, like wait, where though? <laughs> like how far are we talking? I'm like, and then I, I find it, and I'll be like, bro, I kind of got a shortcut. I got just walk this way. <laughs> Literally the same thing. And I felt so bad one day because it was like yeah. my first like couple months here. Right. Somebody looked at me and asked me for directions. I was like, I have no idea where you're headed. I don't know what to do. I, uh. think, I think I looked on like campus maps on my phone again to be like, uh, I think it's that way. And then I walked the opposite direction. I hope he found where he was supposed to go to this day. Ah, uh, well, bit, well, couldn't be me. <laughs> 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 nah, uh, but yeah. And, you know, um, as I was ch- facing the challenge, like, okay, you know, uh, my classes and this and that, uh, I found out that, like, there was a lot of opportunities for me to do like when we opportunities i talk about like you know the parties oh the parties oh, the parties <laughs> the just like not nobody's really checking on you it's really just it's just really you and yeah. you like even if like your roommate you know you talk to your roommates and all that and all that yeah. but like eventually like, once it's like nine time and like around that 11 12 you know you eventually could be in your room and all that it just could be you and it, hey, if you do your homework, you do your homework. If you don't, hey, that's on you. Yeah. It's yeah. So and, much responsibility. And and I was just like, oh yeah, okay, and I'm really on my own, no lie. And then I remember like, oh, be careful what you wish for. <laughs> 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 but then at the same time, I was really, I was happy though because like, I, I'm actually glad that I came here though because like, since I've been here, I've I've gotten nothing but like happiness and like just a challenge just excitement that mean new people and all that talking to different you know different yeah. missions and now of course you know this is a, a, you know all black of school i know that but i get to talk to you know, different different folks you know what i'm saying and have 
and like just we just have I'll just have a random conversation with just some any brand and, and they'll show me like they'll show me their ideas that, like what they're trying to do this and that you know what I'm saying yeah. and I'll just be like amazing I'll be like to this day man I, I'm always grateful to the fact that I got accepted to, to PV man shout out to G.O.D <laughs> I gotta give him the props I'm not gonna hold you <laughs> I could not imagine going anywhere but PV bro like. me too like do you know the, the people I met the the resources I found like I'm not sure if I went to any other school I would have like been I probably wouldn't be doing this right now if I didn't go to PV I'm not gonna hold you but just the fact that PV gave me the opportunity to do so many things I think I saw the box you know what I'm saying yeah. get to talk to you you know what I'm saying yeah. uh, have a podcast with me because that's that's not something I was with I can not bar bar but I thought wow well, I was like man I love talking people love talking to me why don't you do, why don't do a podcast podcast for oh, real and you know have a co-host but i still work <laughs> on that i'm not gonna lie. I mean, you could be my po- uh, co-host yeah, if you want yeah, maybe. You maybe. Know we'll see. yeah we'll see oh yeah we'll see we'll see we'll see uh but yeah um do you have a favorite uh memory uh perfect favorite favorite uh previous experience let me say that so I do, yeah. but I think it's weird that other people find it my favorite memory because I ended up having like... It's 2023, <laughs> not that weird no more. <laughs> it's just like at the end of the night, it was terrible. Oh, damn. Like I ended up having like a panic attack and it was oh. like the ending was terrible. I but see. I actually loved it because I got my best friend to come down to PV for the night. Oh, shout out to the best friend. Like I had her come down and then my roommates, like one of the first times I ever actually hung out with one of my roommates, right. she had some of her friends over. And then we all at like eleven o'clock at night decide, hey, let's go to H E B, grab some pumpkins. We're now carving pumpkins in our house, like right. in our little dorm, and like we have a projector up, so we're watching the Nightmare Before Christmas while listening to music <laughs> while carving these pumpkins. <laughs> and it's I, a cut. <laughs> like, and so I remember that's just like one of my favorite like actual like memories of like me meeting people, talking to new people, like just hanging out with people. Like, yeah, it ended terribly, but, like, I wouldn't have it any other way, really. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's good. Uh, well, you know, <laughs> I'm glad that you, you know, had a good time and, and all that. Yeah. Like, what'd you, I, I got asked, though, what'd y'all do with the pumpkins after you were done cutting? Like the pumpkins? So, I think we put them outside of our, like, dorm rooms. Right. And they ended up absolutely, like, rotting. Oh, damn. And so, at one point, we were like, <laughs> yeah, just grab some trash bags. Just <laughs> yeah, throw them yeah, out. Just throw them out. out. <laughs> like, hey. Time to go. <laughs> like we didn't try and protect them or nothing. We just left them outside in like the October heat of Texas. And I was Dang. like, okay, yeah. <laughs> so it was cooking. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my my favorite uh, experience in PV is actually homecoming. I haven't been to one yet. I'm yeah. going this year. Oh, you haven't? I'm going this year, yeah. Oh, okay. You're going to love it. <laughs> there is a lot. Huh? I better. I'll be hearing too much about it not to love it at oh, this point. Oh, yeah. No, you're going to love it. You're, you're going to love it. Bro, I. I well, I promise you, me and y'all on, on the same boat. I, when I got here, I was hearing nothing b- but about homecoming. This is gonna be, homecoming is gonna be this, that, yeah. this, that. I'm like, bro, who is coming, bro? It's like <laughs> Jordan Gerard Johnson coming, or like what's his name? Is Usher coming? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to figure, who, like, what's what's popping about homecoming? It's just homecoming, bro. Yeah. And they were like, nah, homie, nah, it's homecoming. <laughs> okay, and then you know, a uh, homecoming came, and I was just like, oh, <laughs> y'all right. <laughs> y'all right. And uh, the food was amazing. No, no surprise. No, shout out to, no. Oh, yeah. oh man. <laughs> the food was good. The drinks were good. The vibe was good. Everything was just good, man. You know, so I got I, I got me uh, some stuff because there was some people that were, you know, selling some jewelry and all that. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? I mean, either way, I was, I was coming, I was living there with something, bro. I was living Absolutely. there with something. Yeah, you know, I was either eating the food. Drinks or jewelry, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I was living there with something. I couldn't live there without any hand, without me at the hand. You know what I'm saying. And uh, that's a, that's a one thing I always remember about people. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. The homecoming. No, I'm going this year though. Yeah, it's already it's already been in the plan since I figured out the day homecoming was. I've already told everyone I'm not gonna be able to make it to like certain things because I'm going to <laughs> homecoming this year. Because. I put it off for too long at this point. Yeah. And then I keep getting people being like, why didn't you go to homecoming? I'm like, I'm sorry. I had other like plans already made before I figured out when homecoming was. Yeah. But so now I'm going. It's Def- already. Yeah, you definitely yeah, you you definitely gonna uh, have a good time, man. You definitely gonna have a good time. Um as a as a as a college as a college student, 
um, is there something that you face on a regular basis, like a challenge that you, you know, like maybe if it's time management, maybe it's like, man, I should want to do the homework. Is there something that you actually you struggle with doing? It's or literally you face? math. <laughs> like, oh. so far, it's just been like calculus has been my biggest struggle being calculus. here. Calculus. Because... <laughs> Literally, the amount of effort you have to put into calculus alone right. on top of everything else. I, like, I have currently a couple overdue assignments that I'm working on today. <laughs> <laughs> she had to push her. Hey, yeah, I'm working on them today. <laughs> okay. Part of the work getting done. But it's like, calculus is like, you'll have assignments. Like, I had like three assignments. Or I think you had to reopen like a whole unit just so people could submit all their like homeworks in it. It's crazy. And, like, I have homework due, I think, today, and then more homework due, like, Sunday. <sighs> I got home. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you. My homework is, is due all Sunday. No. Sunday, and then I got one one quiz. No, one one that, one test on, on Friday. So, me and you are kind of on the <laughs> same boat, but I, I ain't doing calculus, though. <laughs> That's beyond me. <laughs> and then my schedule is yeah. absolutely stacked. I have, like, calculus, yeah. physics classes. Yeah. One's a physics lecture. One's a lab. Oh, my. I have my uh, material science engineering class, and then I have my um, my engineering economics God, class, and then that one has a lab too. So I'm at, I have like six classes. Uh, you can't <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Hey, man. You know, couldn't be me. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, that's good. That's good. But uh, hey, you know, it's part of the process. Part of the process. Yeah. Uh, why why are your year at PV? What are some goals that you're trying to accomplish? Okay, so currently I have, like, a job right now. Oh, And okay. one major thing that I want to do before I leave PV right. is I want to buy, like, a little digital camera mm. and just take pictures of all the beautiful sights that I see at PV. Right. Because I feel like sometimes our school, like, it's underrated for how gorgeous it can absolutely look. It, trust me. Like, I'll be walking around, and I'm like, this is so gorgeous. If I had a picture of this moment, I'd frame it. Like, uh. it. Like it doesn't make sense how people don't see it sometimes. I, hey man, I, I'm not going. PB has its moments, man. PB has its moments, man. That's just like man, like if you like when if when the sun hits a certain angle or yes. a certain person, I'm like, man, that's 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 amazing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Is there anything else with like that or? So let's see. I really want to get like internships. Oh. I just want to collect them at this point. Just start collecting internships. I think. That is before everybody. That's what we all try and do. <laughs> <laughs> like, we're living here with something, bro. <laughs> yeah, the degree is cool too, but we're trying, you know. Yeah. yeah. Especially like next year. Oh, catch me! Internship, summer internship, winter in- winter internship. Ooh, winter anyone, internship. Okay. Anyone I can get, I'll facts, take at this facts, point. Facts, facts, Especially facts. with them stipends. Mm. I be seeing too many emails about like, hey, these are the internships. So I'm not getting an internship at this point. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Um. You know, while you are on on the verge of trying to become a successful young young woman, have you like had to cut off some people off, like maybe some friends, some uh, you know, or like you know you have to cut off like uh, the time you talk to people, like socializing basically, or you haven't really had to do that yet. So, like I've realized a lot of things since like. High school, obviously, because yeah. it's so far away from me. Oof, yeah. But, <laughs> but like, um, it's just more like you're not really cutting off friends if you have to cut them off. Like, they weren't really your friend if you have to cut them off because they can't, like, see something or they can't empathize with you. Mm. Or they can't see, like, you doing this is to help yourself. I see. Like, a real friend would be like, hey, you need a minute to yourself? Okay, I can give you a minute to yourself and we can still be friends after. Right. Or it's like hey, um, I see that you're trying to, like, or I see that we can't hang out this day, this day, or, like, maybe even for a month at a time because you're doing what you need to do to get your degree. And you know what? You can go off for a month, go work, get this degree, and the next time I see you, we'll still be, like, friends at the end. So, like, yeah. for me, when it comes to, like, cutting people off, it doesn't feel like I'm cutting off my friends anymore. It just feels like, well, that person wasn't really a friend because yeah. a friend would have, like, been more supportive and been more like empathetic to that sort of situation. Mm, I see. I see. Okay. I understand. Uh, the reason I, uh, the reason I actually asked that question is because, like, you know, um, 
why I've been here, I've uh, I've gone to the point where like I understand there's a difference between a friend and then, like like a colleague or like someone that you know yeah. y'all know you know we all we all hang out like the MC or something like that. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that was a friend of mine. Good. Yeah. And um, I've noticed that like you know I. I'm, I'm like we could be cool and all that, but like if we not really try and be on the same level, I want me like same level as like a hey, like what we're trying to do while yeah. we're here and like what's our goal, this and that. Like you know, I'll I'll talk to you, you know, when I when I can, but other than that, I'm just gonna be focused on focus on my on my on my path. Yeah. So, you know, so again, that degree and as well as starting the podcast, but it's just just basically trying to become a successful young man as well. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? and uh, yeah, you, but you never like had had to be faced at like right you know like so not necessarily in terms of like education wise yeah m- more so in terms of like i had to like know when to stop being friends with certain people okay before i had to get to the point of like cutting them off okay. and then plus i've worked since i was like 16 mm. so uh, like understanding the difference between like oh i talk to you so much because like we're in close proximity because i know if both of us went to like either high school together or if we didn't work together like i know we wouldn't talk to each other and like i know the only reason that we do talk to each other is because you're like right there yeah and so i like started to understand that like a lot earlier than probably some people because like it's it's just one of those things where like you learn that from experience and from actually like having to be around people and be like oh that is my friend that is somebody i would hang out with outside of work or that is somebody that i would know outside of work yeah um what's something that you've noticed uh that people well let me not say people but oh yeah let me say people Mm -hmm. (laughs) because i don't know what other words to use what's something that you've noticed that like uh that's uh that's going around people like and that's like a trend that that people you know do I see that. They are everywhere. And that's everywhere. Even like even 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 the White House. Trust <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> even the White House. Yeah, they know. They yeah, know. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. But like the biggest trend yeah. I would say like sneaky links or like people that are like, Yeah, I wanna be in a relationship with you, but like I don't wanna be with you. Or it's like, Yeah, I'd like you, but like I don't like you. And it's like, okay, just <laughs> go sit down over there. I'll go get my degree. You can figure it out. Like, oh, that's happened to, to you? Or sorry. Not really, per se. I'm not going to say, like, yeah. it's been like that. But right. it's more so. like just people in general being yeah. like, I like you. I want a relationship. But I don't, like, I don't want to be in a relationship with you. And it's like, okay. Just uh, <laughs> I see. I see. Yeah, I, I, I can understand. Too. I can understand that because, like, when I, when I came here, I didn't, uh, I was not really, really looking for that, you know, because, yeah. like, I was still trying to figure myself out, like, who, you know, who I'm, you know, who, who am I, you know what I'm saying? My name is Destiny, and okay, that's cool. Yeah. But, like, what am I, you know, what, am I, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to become? Okay, yeah. so I found out that I'm trying to, okay, I'm trying to become a social worker. That's cool. Okay, besides that, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to do a podcast. Do you, but what's your, like, what, what's the reason behind, okay? My reason yeah. is to, you know, get the young the young generation with me like you and me and you know to you know stand up and i don't say stand up but just like okay let's start to be the change you know yeah. start lead, get some new leaders you know what i'm saying and uh try not to change trying to change this perspective of things like you know what i'm saying and i never really like relationship was just not Something that I was I was like ever really thinking about because I, at that time I didn't really know what the relationship was, you know what I'm saying? Because I never yeah, really yeah. been in one. So, and but I I I saw through you know my my pops, you know my you know my mom and dad, you know what I'm saying? What okay, we're meant to, we're meant to be commitment to someone, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, so we're meant to be actually committed to saying, you know what I'm saying? So like when that when I when if I was ever with someone, you know, so I I want to understand it's my duty as as a as a uh, and not just as a visual, but as a young man, to say, hey, you say you're committed to this person, you that you love this person, you're gonna love this person, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Both, both with their bad, bad qualities and good qualities, you know what I'm saying? And you can communicate because, like, that's one thing that I uh, I think that's missing in, in not in other society that like communication is like oh, 
total communication. Lacking, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like most, major, I don't know if you ever done this, but majority of the problems that we face are, you know, people face, it's just communication. communication, you know what I'm saying? Just a misunderstanding. But like, along with commu- communication, right. good communication. Good like communication. actual solid yeah. communication. Not just like, oh, I was busy today. I'll talk to you when I can. But like, hey, I'm busy at the moment. I'm c- probably going to be busy until about this time. I can probably talk to you about then. Yeah. Or it's like, if not, I'll let you know. Like, actually, like, giving updates to people. Being like, hey, I'm kind of busy for, like, this week. Right. Or, like, hey, if you want to see me, you're only going to be able to see me in the library because I have, like, finals or something. Or it's, like, midterms coming up. And I just really got to be in here, head in the books. So if you want to see me, I'm going to be in the library. So it's just, like, actually good yeah. communication. Oh, yeah, that's facts. That's facts. And that's, facts. that's something that... uh that definitely will be a requirement. Communication. Yes. <laughs> like if we can't, if, if we can't communicate, uh, it's not gonna be. It's gonna be a tough. It's gonna be a tough one. But besides, you know, besides the relationships, um, is there a, a a do you have like a mentor, a mentee, like someone that you uh you go to for guidance? So literally, I am the worst person when it comes to like going to people for advice (laughs) because i will go to somebody for advice over like the smallest things over like should i wear this shirt or this shirt yeah when it comes to like jada (laughs) you should probably get advice on like what like a class is to take i'm like uh we'll just see how it goes (laughs) when it comes to like the bigger things i'm always like uh do i really need advice or could i just go without it for now Uh. but I think, like, in terms of, like, mentorship, I yeah. sort of go to, like, my mom a lot. Okay. Because. Shout out to moms. Yeah, she, like, raised me. So, I'm like, look, you know me. I tell you about me. Let's just figure out, like, what can I do? Like, what's going on? Like. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, for me, my mentor is, uh, or my own mentee will be, uh, this, uh, this guy called Mr. Freeman. He's, uh. He works in the student conduct. Uh, shout out to Mr. Freeman, man. <laughs> uh, he's like, uh, he's like an older brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we're almost similar, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he's just that he he stole my drip, though. I ain't gonna <laughs> hold you. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, like whenever I have like a question, it could be just be a random question. It could be just by whatever. I'll go to him. I'll be like, hey, what's the best for for this or so and so? You know what I'm yes. saying? And he'll tell me, oh, I think you should do this. You no, know, change this work to this, and like. You know what I'm saying? Just give me, like, it helps. He actually helps me with my communication and, yeah. like, the way I, I try to progress, uh, present myself. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if he knows it or that, but shout out to Mr. Freeman, man. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a, that's another guy that I want to, you know, uh, 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 be in on that. Do you, um, do you ever, like, like have a, I don't know, let me say that. How, how do I say this? Is there someone that you would like to become? Someone that I would like to become? Yes. Ooh. So, like, I grew up, and I've always loved, like, Maya Angelou. Okay. And, like, I've just loved, like, what she can do with, like, words. For those who don't know, would you mind explaining who she is? So, oh, I, I haven't looked into her in a minute, but um, she's just, the best way I can describe her yeah, yeah. and how she is for me personally is she's just like this very strong black woman who can always like tell you how she feels and make you feel the way she feels with her words. Like she'll just be able to describe things so beautifully and you'll be like, I suddenly understand like so much more. And like, I've just always loved like reading her poems and stuff since I was like in literally probably like the first grade, I was like assigned to like do something over Maya Angelou and I've loved her ever since. Uh, Okay. And so, yeah. like, if I could, like, inspire people in my field the way yeah. she just is able to, like, inspire black women to just, like, feel confident. Like, mm. I don't know. Like, my Angela just makes, like, she just makes me feel so good inside. I, like, just, like, like knowing stuff about her. Okay, okay, okay. That, that's, good. that's actually that's actually good because we actually need, you know, more people like you, actually, that want to inspire, that want to, like, you know what I'm saying, cha- that want to basically change the, I don't say change the world, but change the perspective of, th- of things, you know? And uh, the fact that you're doing that, you know, it speaks highly volume. You know? Yeah, because, like, one of my big things is, like, when you hear engineering, you think of, like, more, like, boys or, like, more nerdy type people. Like, oh, yeah. they like math and science. Oh, 
but really I'm like I like to dress pretty and I like to like put on makeup right. and be sparkly sometimes. <laughs> and sparkly. so like I just really like to show people like especially like little girls like me like hey you can be pretty and you can yeah. be sparkly and you can be all this sort of stuff and you can still like wear makeup but you can also be like really smart like it doesn't have to be one or the other. Facts. I I to- I totally agree. I totally agree on on that. Uh for me, uh if I was if I want to be an unbelievable, it would have to be uh Eric Thomas, the hip hop preacher. Mm. I don't know if you ever heard of, of him. E. T. Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, well, he, he's a motivational speaker. Mm. But people call him E. T. for short. <laughs> e. T. the hip hop preacher. And uh I I randomly found out about him through YouTube. Yeah. I don't know what I was doing, but I just saw this guy called E.T. at E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. I'm like, so what is that? You know, what, what, what does he do? And then I found out that, you know, he, um, he motivates. Oh, yeah. He talks about his upbringing, the, the things that he faced as a, as a young, as a teen, as a young adult to an adult, and what, he, and what his obstacles was and, and all that. And when I found out, like you know, when I, when I watched him talk, he had he had the voice where like when he when when he he talks, you gotta listen. Oh yeah, on the view. Ooh, I love people like that. Yeah, and and when he when he talked, I'm like, whoa, he's speaking. He's saying he's speaking facts. Yeah, he's speaking facts. <laughs> and and he and he had me thinking, man. He he had me thinking. Like, like, damn! This is something I would want to do. Yeah. Like you know, he he made me want to become a leader. He made me want to, okay, you say you're gonna wake up at at five a.m. for you know for workout or whatever. When that when that when that alarm clock hits, wake up and do what you gotta do. Yeah. You know, say no no excuses. And when I found out that he when he was a high school high school dropout, you know, what I'm saying and but you know he uh, he. Uh, he he didn't let that, uh, you know, um, drag him down. Yeah. He, he eventually went to college, got his PhD, became this successful person, and all that. You know, what I'm saying through all the challenges that he faced, he made he basically signed and said, "Hey, this is no no time for more excuses no more." Yeah. So you say you're gonna do something, okay? Go ahead and do it, and don't worry about what people think. You know what I'm saying? That's that just for me though. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that was one of the few uh, things I I uh, kind of struggled with. Like I, I was like still in the young stage where like man I, I'm a little bit worried. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I try like I try like act cool. Not oh, say yeah. act cool, but like be cool. You know what I'm saying? Like and just like ha- act like how everybody else is at. But like he was like, nah, you don't gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? Focus on what you focus on what you're doing and have a why. And that was like one of his big preachers. Like whatever you're doing. I have a why behind it. If you're doing it for your moms, that's that's gonna be your why. If you're doing it for your brother, that's your why. Whatever you're doing, whatever you're trying to do, like if whenever you're feeling down, just remember that why. And like, and he and I found out what what my why was, and so that's what made me like more. He could basically motivate me to do all these type of things, and you know, not worry about what people think, just be on my own. And whoever that wants to be, wants to. That wants to enter the club can enter the club. You know yeah, what I'm saying? At this point, <laughs> yeah. I, I, at this point, you know what I'm saying. If you don't, hey, the door's always open. <laughs> but yeah, man. Shout out to Eric Thomas. He's uh, he's definitely one of the person that I would definitely want to live that live that lifestyle. Yeah. Because he, because while he's also, you know, while he's made it, I know that you know, became successful, made all this money, and I know that he still goes down. He still goes back to his old place in Chicago, in uh. uh Dallas and just talks to young uh, unfortunate kids that you know what I'm saying that may not necessarily have the luxury may not to say and all that and uh, I just like I get amazed and you don't really see a whole lot nowadays you know oh, what I'm saying yeah. so I feel like it's like I don't say my responsibility but some of us responsibility to like okay to stand up yeah and you know do something so hey, we ain't getting younger, <laughs> but nah. Uh, did did you did you have that realization too at some point or like not necessary or just yeah. So like a big thing in like engineering is like 
this thing called like imposter syndrome. Okay. Where it's basically like you feel like all your achievements weren't actually you. Like you tricked everyone into thinking that you were good. You're not actually that good. And so like a big thing for me, especially especially with like calculus. Wow. Calculus is always my worst class. Like I'll do good in every other class except calculus. And so it's like it gives me that big si- like feeling of like I don't belong here. Like this isn't like what I'm supposed to do. Right. But then I'll go to like my engineering class or I'll go to my phys class and I have like A's and B's and like I'll be doing good. I'm like, well, <laughs> this other s- like stuff is telling me this is what I'm supposed to do. So like I end up having to just really be like, look, okay, I'm going to have to do this. Why am I going to have to do this? Because to get through calculus, I don't have to do calculus anymore. I can move on to my bigger dreams. I can like I can do what I actually want to do. Like once I finish this like spot. Okay. Okay. Um. Do you ever have like a down down moments where like man you you just like want to give give up or like let that know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And I've learned yeah. a lot. It's when I don't have a job outside of school. Mm. So whenever I'm forced to be on school and the only thing I'm doing is like going to class, right. doing homework, eating. Going to class, doing homework, eating. And that, to me, just gets so boring. And it gives me this, like, with, like, dealing with, like, time management, it's like, yeah. well, I don't have to do it today because I can do it tomorrow. And then I'll just push stuff off because I'm like, this is all I ever do every single day. But then when I have a job, I'm like, oh, I don't have time to yeah. just push this off. So, okay, let me go to the library now, go get it done, and then, boom, go to work. And then... I socialize and I don't have to worry about like school necessarily at work. Mm. And so it's just always like whenever I don't have like that job outside of like school, right. I'm it's the most like, I'm like, I should just drop. Like I should just leave. Like this is not fun. Okay. okay. So my question to that would be, um, what's your why? Like, why are you doing the thing you're doing? Like for me, I'm doing this. I'm trying. I no. Of course, I, everybody wants to be successful, but yeah. but I want I want to be su- successful because of my pops. I'm doing it for him. I want to have a better lifestyle. Well, his lifestyle is good, but I'm trying to have a better lifestyle. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm trying like hey, you know when uh you know when I graduate, then you know give me a job. I know that I want to be like hey pops. You don't got like you don't got yeah. you don't got to be agent. You don't got to be agent no more. You can just you know chill. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay for you. You know what I'm saying, yeah. and then I, of course I have younger siblings, so like uh, I have a bit of a pressure, not pressure, but a bigger responsibility. But like they look up to me, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So it makes it makes me like man, even like man, this this like where well, I don't want really want to do this. So like man, I could just I could just really quit. But I, I could just quit. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Like. But then yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just just quit. Yeah. But then like I'd be like if I do that, then I might as well, I might as well never have started. You know what I'm saying. Yes, that is so true. Fact. So like, every time I be like, damn, I'm just let me just you know take a break and I'm like, nah, bro, you got you got people counting on you. Yeah. In the in the few in the in the few years in the in the next two, uh, one or two years, I'm finna you know uh, graduate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I gotta make sure, hey, I graduate now. Okay, let's get the job. Get the job. Okay, go step. You know, the steps by steps, yeah. and then you know, so when because like once I graduate, okay, now it's your turn. Because I did the same thing. But like, you know, so once I graduated high school, my brother was like, oh, you got to graduate? Okay, now I got to go to high school. So, you know what I'm saying? And so that's like, that's my why. Like, that's what things, that's why I do things that, and that's why I do the things I do. You know what I'm saying? I do it for, really for my pops because he's like, he's like my main, um, he's my real role model. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right next to E.T. E. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like, my pops taught me, without even ta- uh, teaching me what it means to be a, a man. Then what it means to, what it, it means to show love. When by love, I'm talking about like take care of your younger ones. Oh, you you know I don't know if you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, yeah that's what he, that's what he taught me, and you know I carry the small things that he, that he, that he, the you know the the important things that that he that he instilled himself to to my, to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, of course, you know, he's from a different generation now, you know, and I'm from a different generation. But yeah. I take some, you know, some of the things from me and just tweak it a little bit here and there. But I definitely, I definitely take a lot of things from my past. And, you know, and shout out to him. What about you? Who, like? So I 
it would definitely have to be both my mother and my grandmother. Okay. Because for like pre K, my grandmother would take care of us or like mainly me and she'd have me, um, and some like fam and like two family friends, kids that she knew. Right. And so my grandmother would be like watching me and she'd be like taking care of me while my mom would go to college and my sister was in um like elementary school. And my mom was like a single mom for right. like I think about eight years of my life, eight, nine years. Oh, yeah, eight years of my life. And so I was like literally in my mom's wedding. Me and my sister were in her wedding. And so a big thing is like my mom was able to come. She was able to go to college, have two kids, get her homework done, graduate. And she ended up having a boyfriend getting married. Like my mom was able to come have a life. And my grandma was there like helping her out. And I'm like, okay, so now it's my turn. Come to college, get a career. And then be able to help out both my mom and my grandma. Right. And then in the future, like, if I want kids, yeah. i got to make sure that they're set up, too, and be able to be like, look, this is what I did. Do you have to go that route? No. But I would like you to look at it and figure out where right. you want to go with it. Facts, facts, facts. Man, shout out to your moms, man. Shout, yeah. out, to moms. shout out to all moms, really, you know really? what I'm saying? Because, like, uh, to me, at least, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, Moms are really Wonder Woman, man. They hit, they like, they are amazing. Like the th the things that I see, I'll be like, how y'all do that? You know, like, cause my mom does so amazing, like amazing things to point out, like, you know, like how did she, like how did you come come being that situation and come out of it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And like, it just it just amazed me. Like that's something that like I. I mean, I just I just gotta give a praise to Bob Moss, man, and Geo Deal, cause but yeah. you know, um, is there is there something you wish PV had that you think that w that could help benefit students like us? Sometimes I just wish like if there was like a like mental health center, okay. like if there was like somewhere you could go and they could write you like a note being like, hey like like a class sort of like note like notes you used to get from like the nurse's office in like high school mm. but they'd be like hey you're just like your mental health is is not there for you to be able to hit your classes so i'll give you a note that'll give you like uh you can like not go to class basically right. it's like excuse though and like you spend the day working on your mental health like you can come here to like the office and be like here like hear some soothing music, like very spa sort of atmosphere, like very calming, like like soothing atmosphere. Right. So then it's like you can come here, rest up a bit because college is a lot. Right. Like not just physically, not just like mi like it's just everything. Like it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. When you're in college, you're all over in college. Like your sleep schedule, throw it out the window. It doesn't yeah. exist anymore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust me, it does not. Well, I got to a point where I don't even need that. Uh, what's it called alarm clock no more. I wake up. <laughs> I wake up man at seven a.m. Oh, okay, yeah, seven a.m. I'm 7 I'm up. I'm up. Go to MS go to MC, get me my breakfast. Head to, head to class. Nah, food. Who has time for food anymore? Cause you have you have like three assignments <laughs> due. You have two exams this week. You also have to have this other thing due that was supposed to take a week to do, but now you only have like two days. To do yeah. It. Oh my god. I know. <laughs> I know, bro. I I know, man. I know. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you don't have Panther Bucks? Oops. Who's going to that? Who's going to PV Mart? Not you. <laughs> like, not even Duncan, really. It's like everything. It, <laughs> is Duncan really here like that? Like, it is when you wake up at 7 a.m. every morning. 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in the library at 8 a.m. Ah, oh, I see. I see. So it's the breakfast time. That's yeah. where you'll be headed. Okay, okay, okay. Because I'd cause I be, I be there. I'd be at, I'll I'll go to library and see you know people stay in line and all that, but I just be never be going. I'm gonna be honest. At peak, not worth it at all. Uh, like whenever the line's full, I always walk out the line. I'm like, no, we're not doing this. Me too. I'll be like that. It's like it's like what's the name? Is Beyonce in the building or yeah. something? What <laughs> if it's like a little eight thirty yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're just in the library? You're just getting into the library and you're like, uh, hey, I want like a coffee and like something to eat. Then yeah, if it's like oh the line's like only three people, definitely worth it. Mm. But okay, okay. Um, for me, I I don't know if PVA already has that or not, but like I feel like people benefit from having two programs. The first one being a boxing program. Boxing? Yeah, boxing. Bro. Oh, I would totally like for like 
exercise, I would totally yeah. do boxing. Yeah, it, it won't be uh, it won't be like compared boxing. It would just be like a sparring, you know, what I'm saying you versus someone else, and it the goal of it would be for you to exp- to release the the anger. Yes, because when you know? I tell you these professors here <laughs> be working me. <laughs> so you be what? Show us how you professor. Oh, it, <laughs> it's not even that. It's just sometimes professors think that they know better because they have the PhD, and then you'll be like, "Look, but I'm the one going through this course now." Wow. Like, yeah, you probably went through the course ten years ago with the P and got your PhD, Damn. but in 2023, <laughs> <laughs> this ain't going You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, bo- definitely boxing, and then therapy, uh, for students by students. So basically, the goal would be for let's say, um, you were certified in certain like let's say you were you 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 face depression right? Oh yeah. And you've overcome it right, and you st- and there and there's a, there's a student that's going through depression. So you will be like a mentor or, or, or guardian to that student. Yeah. So because you could help them overcome the, the the pressure that they're going through. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because really, when yeah. it comes to like mental illness like that, you, it really if you don't feel like you have anyone in your corner, that's when it is like the worst. Because like right. once you actually are like, oh, this other person is dealing with it, and like. I'm not the only one anymore. Yeah. Because that's really what those would be doing in your head. You'd be like, oh, I'm the only one dealing with this. Or it's like, oh, look at everyone else. They got their lives together. And I'm sitting here like this. Yeah. And it's like, no. Nah, peop- other people are doing the same thing as you. Facts. Trust me. Like, trust me. I know. Like, even if they, they look at they, they're not, they, they do. Yeah. They, they, we're all in the same boat, man. We're all in the same boat. To whoever thinks I ever knew what I was doing in a calculus class, I never did. I promise I would just come in, take notes, and I would try my best based off the notes that I had. Mm. I never knew what I was doing. I never, like, I was never like, oh, I know this now. No. I was just like, okay, I'm starting to understand it better. Right. I'm just trying to get to a point where I understand it well enough that right. I can just pass this next test by the grace right. of God. Like, um, by the grace of God, indeed, man. I, I, I honestly, all it takes is really just trying. Like, I know people say that a lot, you know. If you tried, man, if you just tried this, you become this and that. But it actually works. Like I've 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 done that before, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm st- I, mean, I still do it, but like, you know what I'm saying? Give it give it a try. Give it yeah. the very best. And once you and give you very best, if you did go on a great, if you didn't, well at least at least you're a whole lot better than you were before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like like life's not over that just because you know what I'm saying, you failed. Because I feel like uh people I don't want to say people, but I, I would prefer, co- you know, as college students, I feel like, you know, if we fail a class, you know what I'm saying, like, we think it's it's over for us. I definitely did when I think it was, it was the first time I failed, like, Calculus 1. Right. And I remember me and my roommates were, it, like, they were just by my side trying to get in some, like, um, homework assignments last minute. They had Mathway pulled up so that they could try and help me. And, like, we were just trying yeah. our hardest to try and get some of these assignments in. And I just remember thinking, like, the world was over. Like we wasted all this money on this, like schooling. Right. And I was like, "Oh, this is terrible." Because I was one of those kids that always had A's and B's in school. Really? I, I mean, no surprise I mean, there. <laughs> you're, you're doing chemical I engineering. Mean, <laughs> it would obviously drop down to like C sometimes, but like my parents always tried to instill me, right. "You can make A's and B's." So that's what you do. Like, of course, if it was like proven. Like, or if it was showing, like, I'm just not good in that class, then they would cut me some slack. But when it came to, like, classes, they were like, you've proven to us before you can make A's and B's when you try. So you go in and try and make A's and B's. And so, like, I've always been one of those students where it's like failing was never really an option because Mm. I was always proving that I didn't fail. And so then when I started failing calculus, I was like, oh, no. Like, this actually is, like, the end of the world for me because I failed. And then when I went and actually talked to my mom about it, she was like, oh, okay. And she was like, yeah, Jada, it's college. It's not high school anymore. It's not, like, grade school. It's college. People uh. fail, and then they get back, try it again, and if they and they just try it to pass. Like, that's really what it is. It's you fall yes. off the horse, you get back on the horse. And Definitely. <laughs> that's all you can do sometimes. Definitely. Have you um have any scary moments where like 
man, like, if if I don't if I don't graduate if I don't pass it's over. Like, have you ever ever had that moment? Because I, I I've had that moment like where it was like my uh what's it called uh it wasn't during high school yeah it was during high school and uh, for some reason I uh I had this fear like man like nah because I think it's because I was just like I was just chilling. You know, yeah. so I'll go to class, but not like really doing anything. Just, just show up, yeah. really. And then you know, I got the, I got the, I got the letter saying that, uh, uh, if you don't do this or so and so, you're going to not graduate. Mm-hmm. And I, uh, when 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 I got the letter, I was like, whoa, okay, it's time to wake up. Yeah. You know, so that that was my scary. That was that was my scary because we were like, and this was like my my senior year. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. and like my you know my moms, my pops, my uncles. You know what I'm saying? They, you know we were all like in the same household. That you know, oof. And you know, yeah. I'm Nigerian, so if you if you oh, if you know if you know you know <laughs> <laughs> if you know you know. So when I got the letter, man, I was just like, okay, yep, going to class. Giving it my best, I'm, 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 I'm making sure I'm getting everything done. I'm doing yeah. extra credit, extra on top of extra credit, on top of extra credit, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. I, I'm taking everything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking everything. <laughs> and you know, uh, uh, shout to the uh, GOD. I gra- uh, you know, graduated, you know, what I'm saying with the the three point oh and all that. And I, I, I would honestly say that's like my best and most my favorite moment. Out of my whole life, graduating high, graduating high school, and yeah, I was a graduate high school. That's my favorite. That's my most favorite, favorite moment. Do you have a favorite moment? Like you always remember. Um, ooh. the reason why I say that is because like it just made me feel like I went. It made me feel like I did something. You know what I'm saying? Like I I went to school and I got this you know diploma and all that. But like, the fact that my whole family was you know it was yeah. there, which just made it a whole lot meaningful. Yeah, I have to say, like, really for, like, really, like, just seeing, like, how far you've come sort of, like, milestone right. really has to be, like, my whole senior year for me. Right. Because that's really when, like. Life is different. Yeah, because, like, when I started going to, like, prom or, like, right. when it started getting closer to, like, the end of school year, like, for prom, I, like, I still have pictures on my phone. Like, my mom literally today had, like, a whole, like, little, you know how Google Photos will make yeah. little picture stuff? It made one of me, and it was, like, a lot of my prom photos and my graduation photo. And so I really have to say, like, those were, like, what really made me, like, the happiest, like, the moments. Because I really was, like, man, this was, like, what, 12 to 14 years of my life. Mm. Like, and it's all about it's all about to be over so then I can actually start my life. Like, and so, like, when I was graduating, I just remember being there and just seeing all of us in, like, our caps and gowns and being, like, man. These people that I didn't, some of these people I didn't even know <laughs> four years ago. Yeah. And I'm over here sad that they're leaving. <laughs> sad that I'm <laughs> like, and so it was just really Ryan's like dead. one of those moments and like seeing my family there and just being like, Jada, you did it. Like, you did it. Like, let's go. Like, time to go to the next part. And then I think it's also because afterwards my stepdad took me to wow. um, this ice cream place that we used to go to a lot wow. when I was like younger. Because it's all the way by NRG. It's a small little mom and pop shop that he found, like, when he was younger. And so we went there, and we had some of this homemade ice cream. And I just remember being like, man, like, I really I really just completed high school. <laughs> and, like, yeah. I, I did it. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, man, we did it, man, we did it. So while you're, while were you, you're, what's your, what's your uh, goal? Like, what's your, um, you know, is it like a certain certain thing you're trying to achieve? Like maybe try and get like a become on a, become on the, on the dean's list or like are you? So this semester, I feel like I have a good shot, except for calculus two so far. But I feel like I do have a pretty good shot of making the dean's list Oof, based yeah. off the way it's looking now. I can still turn around calculus. I can. I can. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes. You can. <laughs> hey, it's not over till it's over, man. It's not. Over. It's and not over so till it's over. I really do just want to hit the dean's list. Um, really. But like when it comes in terms of like internships, yeah. I want an internship at like a, f- a pharmaceutical company. 
that makes yeah, that makes sense. Like I really like if I could get one of those internships, I feel like oh that would be so amazing. But of course, like I might not go into pharmaceuticals. Like what I think it's probably supposed to be like a couple years from now. Mm-hmm. I might end up changing my mind along the way. I've already changed my mind on my career like at least one or two times. times. <laughs> hey, I ain't <laughs> maybe four. Yeah, I just not not nothing wrong with that because uh I did the same thing too because I. I I thought I wanted to become a, a uh, I wanted to do computer science, but like I only wanted to do that because I was trying to impress my parents. It was not something that I I was gonna be happy about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So uh, if you know it, you know, I'll say this: like whatever you want to do, just make sure like hey, that's something you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Because like. And then the end of the day, it's gonna be you know your life. You know what I'm saying? While it may be cool, you're making you know seventy five k or seventy five k plus, and that money looks nice. But and but if you're not happy, oh yeah, it's not it's not gonna hit the same. Worst money in the world if you're not happy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So like you know, uh, so but do you feel like this is the one for you? Like I'm a chemical engineer, like like. So, like, yeah, especially based off of how I got to this point. Because, like, when I went to high school, I went to, like, a special high school. Like, you had to apply. It was, like, a whole to-do over high school. Uh But I was, like, I want to be a lawyer. And then I hit my junior year, and I realized lawyers write a lot. (laughs) It's a lot of writing. It's a lot of typing. It's a lot of reading. Get the pen and paper. (laughs) (laughs) And I like to read. But I like to do that in my free time. (laughs) I don't like to do it. Like, I don't like reading textbooks. So it's like, how am I going to sit here and read all this legalese? Just like, it's fine. And then um, in my, like for my class, a lady came in and started talking about like toxicology. And I was like, that sounds so interesting to me. Mm. Like, why would I not want to like investigate what police yeah. give me and be like is this weed or is it not like <laughs> yeah, that would you know, ain't not wrong with trying <laughs> <laughs> honestly that would kind of make a really good game show for toxicologists out there just like is it weed or is it coke yeah. only one way to tell <laughs> indeed i'm not going why not i mean uh, you see if you see the shows that's been going on around the world man yeah. that would not be the weirdest thing or strangest thing trust me <laughs> And so from toxicologist, that's when I started really thinking about it. And I was like, I really do like, right. like the science aspect. I really do like science and like knowing about like w- how the world works and why it works this way or like our thoughts on why it works this way. And then from there it was like, oh, well, I didn't get toxicology on my like little hundred like jobs or whatever, but I did get chemical engineering. Right. And then chemical engineering is actually so broad it's <laughs> such a specific like engineering path but it's right. such a broad actual job yeah. they're like yeah you can go work at like an engineer or like a power plant or you could go work in cosmetics <laughs> like see you know what i'm saying like it really is like if you right. don't fully know exactly where you want to be in engineering but right. go do chemical engineering see how you like that for now because really we just dabble in a little bit of whatever and they're like yeah you're just gonna do a little bit of this one year and then a little bit of that and just see yeah. how it goes. Um, have you like uh, found people that like are on the same path that you're on? That like they're trying to reach where you're trying to reach as well. And so, like, somewhat in like my engineering classes, I do um get a lot of people that are like trying to be chemical engineers or just trying to be like in right. the engineering field. But as far as, like, pharmaceuticals, not so much. Not so much. Because it is one of the smaller fields. But I do, like, I think um, people were, like, trying to get into, like, I think it was, like, where they work on, like, prosthetics. And people in my class were trying to get into that sort of field and, like, the medicinal field of, like, chemical engineering. And I'm, like, I think that's so fascinating, too. Like, there's just so many different parts that I'm, like, whatever you do in chemical engineering, it's all going to be, like, interesting at this point. If you, if you had to look back on your life from high school to now, what would you say are some of the differences? So definitely like trusting my friend choices. So like, especially in high school, it was very like, oh, you're like friends with these people because you go to high school with them. 
and it's like, oh, this person could have been talking about behind your back that entire time, and you not know at all, and like all this other like little petty like high school drama. But now that I'm like an adult and I'm like in college and I'm figuring so much out about like myself, I'm like, I wouldn't have been friends with those people today. Like some uh. of the people I was friends with in high school, even if I was in high school again, I wouldn't be friends with some of those people again. Yeah. <laughs> Because it's just like the way I view friendship is different than the way they view friendship. Uh, would you mind me asking how how do you view view friendship? So I'm I've learned very recently. I g- view it as like being very supportive. It shouldn't be a task to be friends with somebody. It should just be a benefit to be friends with them. Uh. Like it should be. I'm not going to be able to see you for two months, or like I'm going through something, and they're like, look. I can tell that you've started acting different. Like, I can tell, like, or it's like, hey, I noticed you were quiet for, like, five minutes longer than normal. Or it's like, I noticed you've been, like, dazing out, like, longer than normal or more than normal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay, like, over here. I'm going to let you try and figure out, like, what you need to. If you want to talk to me, I'm always here for you. Like, tell me what you need, and I'll be there to, like, sort of reciprocate what it is. And so, to me, that's sort of, like, what friendship is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, me me and you are currently on, on, on the same boat, man. Like, you know, I feel, I feel my definition of friendship is, you know, someone that, got, that has my back, I, I got their backs, you know. Yeah. They see me in my lows, and I see them in their lows, and, like, hey, they got they have my back when I, you know, I needed, you know, uh, yeah. support at that very low moment, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I, I definitely, uh, I definitely understand yeah, I really feel yeah. like if you can sit here and laugh with that person, yeah. you should also be able to sit here and cry with that person. Yeah, that, I, that, I definitely, I, I totally agree on that. But that's a fact. That's that's not you know. Once you do the crime, and that's hey, that's oh, official, yeah. man. It's official. Y'all locked in. Now y'all have to be best <laughs> yeah, friends at that point. Facts, 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 facts. Um, if um if you could go back and tell your younger self something, what would you tell your younger self? I'll give yourself your younger self advice. What would you say to your younger self? Really trust your decisions. You're not making your decisions for no reason. You clearly have experience behind it. You've probably like you we like I know what I've been through. Right. Like we've been through some stuff, but you need to trust in your decisions. Trust in like what you feel because there's a reason why you feel it cuz <laughs> you felt it before and when you felt it before, it didn't feel great. Like Okay. Okay. And for me if I was to ask myself, uh, you know, to give myself um, advice, I would tell my younger self, oof, and this is <laughs> high school, man. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would tell my, myself, don't worry about what people think. And don't try to, don't worry about Im- impressing people, you know? Yeah. Especially in high school. <laughs> oh, high school? Oh, my God. Like, uh, if you, hey, if you know, you know. And I already the know the people I knew then don't even know who they are now. So it's <laughs> <Right>. like. <laughs> Looking back, it's like, wow, that's wild. <laughs> and I would just leave it with that, with the fact, I, I would just tell him, uh, so less a piece of advice would be, en- enjoy, enjoy the moments. Yeah. Enjoy the moments. Yeah, that's why I would tell my younger self. I ain't going to hold you. That's what I would give myself. And, um. Is there, is there, um, is there something that you, you miss right now? Like, maybe like, like, oh man, I I miss doing this when I was younger or like. So I miss like when I had a job in high school uh. because that feeling of being able to go to the mall and actually like. You're not just window shopping. You're like, if I wanted that, I could buy it because, like, you said window like shopping. <laughs> oh my god, I thought about fifty cent. I'm not gonna hold you. Oh, <laughs> absolutely. <sighs> but it's just that feeling of like not having to worry about like buying myself groceries yeah. now. Like spending a hundred dollars on groceries for a single person. Like, are you kidding me? Oh, no, huh. I miss when I spent that hundred dollars on something ridiculous that I probably didn't <laughs> need at the time. Like. Just being able to like ha- oh. be more free about it. I did like. that one. I did that. I go with you. I'm like looking back. I'm like, damn, I really didn't need it for real. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I literally <laughs> bought like a pair of AirPods and they broke. And then my sister was like, oh, well, I got new ones. So here's mine. I was like, so I didn't even oh need to buy any. Oh, my God. Oh, she. I was like, so really, if I just waited, I could have had yours. Wow. <laughs> really? Couldn't be me, though. <laughs> nah, that's fine. I'm just playing. Um, you have a good time, so you have yeah. a good day. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'll live with, with this. Being a young, being in college and and um, maturing as a young woman, my bad, <laughs> maturing as a young woman. What advice would you give to other females? So it's really just like. I mean, I guess it would just have to be, like, it doesn't, like, you're going to be feminine even right. if you have a, like, male-dominated field. Right. Like, you're going to be able to wear dresses when you're at, like, formal events. You're going to be able to, like, come to work, like, feeling pretty and feeling good and, like, right. like you feel like a woman while having this job. Like, it doesn't make you masculine to have to have a job in a male-dominated field. Like, it just makes you, you. Like, part of you being you is that, like, you're going to do stuff that some other people wouldn't. And That's facts. For me, that's being, like, in an engineering field because, like, I don't know. It's just be yourself. Like, there's nothing against that. Really? Adjustment is not. <laughs> yeah. And you'll find how you – people be amazed at how many people accept come around once you just be you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for me, I would, you know, I would tell the, uh, I would tell the guys on my field to, ah, uh, man, that's a tough one. Yeah. Because there's some of the things I want to say, but like, there's just a lot of words. Yeah. Uh, I would say, don't sleep on the elder, on the elders, on your elders. Like, oh, people yeah. that are older, that, that are older than you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you does like if you see someone that's like Mr. Freeman, you know what I'm saying, to talk to him like, hey, what advice would you give me as a college student? What are some yeah. things that you know you wish you had done while you were in college, or you could be like a neighbor that's ne- that's ne- near where you live, and like, because the reason I say this is because I why I was in you know high school and all that I you just hanged out with uh, other folks. People that yeah. were older than me, and I would always be amazed. I like the stuff that they that they knew every time, <laughs> every time. Even when I came here, my first year at PV, I went to uh, I was in the apartment in Penta Quarters. There was this guy called Spike, and you know at that time he just looked like any other guy. You know, what I'm saying like a, a yeah. young man, you know, old man, <laughs> you know, old man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And you know, I didn't really think much of him, but like. Until I just said, hey, hi, hello, sir, how you doing? You know, I'm your neighbor. My name is so, 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 and so. And he told me his name. I found out that he was a former uh, college, uh, professor, student, this and that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And then he gave me some uh, word, some really good advice. And I would probably never guess that, you know, unless I approached that, that person, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and they really basically don't judge a book by its cover. That's what I'm pretty yeah. much saying, you know what I'm saying? Have you ever, have you had that experience? Oh, yeah. So, um... My mom was pretty young when she had me and my older sister. Right. And so growing up, it was like me and my older sister were like the youngest ones in the older like generation. So like we'd have like my older cousins and then we'd be around like older cousins all the time or like the cousins would be around her age, but their parents would be like older than my mom. So it was always like I was always sort of around older people. And so in doing that, it always was like we would just like always be around these older people. So I learned very quickly, very early, like respect your elders. Like my, um, my grandma would tell me about like what she had to go through, like in her college. Like my grandma would love to talk about how she used to, um, she would go to college at about eight to, I think about right. two hmm. and then three to 11, she had to go work at the hospital and then she would get home to, right. she had eight siblings or seven other siblings. Oh, wow. Okay. I see. Yeah. My great, my great grandma had plenty of kids. Hmm. And so she would come home and then she'd come home, have to share a room and she'd be like, they had a pretty small place and then she'd have to just wake up and do it all over again. And that was just like part of her routine was doing this. And so I always just was like taught like, Hey, 
your elders have like been through, like they've lived lives yeah, before it's, you've it's been born. Exactly. And, and, you know, I feel like majority of, of our males, you know, the young males at least, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if we, if they just like approach, you know what I'm saying? The, you know, the elder, you know, the older folks, the mindset would just change. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause, cause I know it did for me because I thought, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, back, you know, when I was young and I was in high school, yeah. I thought, you know, you know, Saggy was cool. I thought, you know, talking to Sean Way was cool. I thought during, you know, during stuff, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Dur- during those stuff like that was cool. But then as I got to, as I was hanging out with all the folks that, were, uh, that knew a whole lot better, that, that experienced life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That made me change the way I talk. That made me walk the way, uh, walk, walk differently, you know what I'm saying, carry myself differently, like, hey, I'm actually representing someone, you know what I'm saying, yeah. and, you know, when I talk, be careful what you what you say, because, you know what I'm saying, and, and it's okay to be different, you know what I'm saying, like, yeah. it's okay if you want to be, you know what I'm saying, if you want, if you want to be, you know, you want you want to live a certain lifestyle than, than others, you know what I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with that, you know what I'm saying, that's what, that's, that's the old thing I would say, that's pretty much missing in right now to this society because like I feel like the young you know the this generation is just like more focused on trying to impress or going for what's trending you know what I'm saying because yeah. I've never really been like the flashy guy I'm just being mad Not humble <laughs> I don't know if you what about y'all yeah so I've like I've always always liked that one kid I didn't care what I wore. Like, my mom yeah. was like, Jada, you never cared. You would put on a skirt over jeans and go to school like that if I'd let you. And I was like, yeah, because to me, it was, like, fashion and stuff was always, it was, like, a form of expression, right. but it wasn't, like, a strict mandated rule set form of expression. And then, like, especially now as I'm getting older and, like, I've been thinking about, like, having kids and, like, yeah. me and my bestie have been like, oh, my gosh, when we have kids, they're going to be, like, yeah. best friends too. And so I've been thinking, like, what kind of stories do I want to tell my kids when, like, yeah, when when I you, have them? When you know, when you know, what what <laughs> Indian Jones Avengers have you been yeah. on? <laughs> and yeah, so I think like that should be another thing that like, people start thinking about is like, if you have kids, what kind of stories do you want to tell them? Yeah. Do you want to tell them how? Oh yeah, or like if they look at a picture of you and be like, oh, why'd you wear this? And it's like, oh, I thought it was like cool. I thought it was like the cool thing at the time. Yeah. Or do you want to be like, oh, I wore that because like my like best friend gave it to me one day when we were like just running around or like when we were just driving through like yeah. new orleans or something we just found it and she got it and then like now i have it and then that's like a statement in my outfit now yeah facts man facts see that's this is exactly like one of the few reasons why i started to do this uh podcast where i can have you know engaging conversations grown first conversation with you know people like yourself you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to be like oh a, a ghetto and this and that you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, it's just a conversation between both folks and you know what i'm saying and like what's going on around the world and all that man uh once again man i really appreciate you for coming to this episode oh, no man you know so i hope you had a good time and, yeah. and all that <laughs> and uh that's a wrap for this episode uh it's your boy grateful kid aka destiny and i'm your Jata. Okay, where can I find you? Uh, you have IG on your I do have an Insta, but it is private. It's private, it's private. Okay, okay. Well, do you want to, you know? I mean, if y'all want, it is Jata, J A Y E T A dot C1 on Insta, if y'all want. Okay, okay. Man, y'all, y'all, y'all make sure to give her a follow. Give her about that 50K. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and we out. <laughs>